With the All-Star Fan Fest ready to start on Friday and the game itself at Great American one week from tonight, certain concerts at the square are now out and changes in the square's operations are about to be in. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live with what Saturday night's fallout means for All-Star fans and concert goers. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Rob. The disturbance a few nights ago at Fountain Square is like a blemish on Cincinnati's face just before the prom. CBS News this morning, for example, did a story called, Is Cincinnati Ready for the All-Star Game? The answer from City and Cincinnati Reds leaders today, an emphatic yes. This is a great place, a great city to live, work, and play, and it's going to be a great city to have an All-Star Game for the next week. As Cincinnati leaders outlined the big impact of All-Star Week, 100,000 visitors, $60 million in economic impact, the city was also planning changes to Fountain Square operations following Saturday night's disturbance. Three people, including two police officers, were injured and half a dozen people arrested after some people turned violent following a hip-hop concert at the square. City manager Harry Black says concert planning rules will change. Downtown is no longer trying to become a destination. It is a destination. And what Saturday night's event tells me is that we now have to look at that space in a different way. 3CDC, the development agency, was given control of events at the square several years ago, exempt from the city permit process, no overview by the police to head off potential problems. That will change. The Saturday Night Hip Hop series is canceled, as is a Fountain Square appearance for this Saturday by Cincinnati-born rapper Cal Scrooby. You know, I think this is a call for a timeout to reassess uh, how 3CDC goes about programming, and to make certain that there's adequate and proper coordination with the appropriate city departments. Of course, all-star game planning has been ongoing for two years with all sorts of events above and beyond the game. The emphasis is on fun and safety for all. My name is Jason Burgess and this is Harper. The all-star announcement event went from suits to cutes. How old are you, Harper? Um. How old are you? Two. Are you two and a half? Uh huh, uh huh. As Red's mascots mixed with fans, Harper gravitated to one mascot in particular, Rosie Red. In reality, Harper's mom, Amy. Are you, are you Rosie's biggest fan? Yeah, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now, you may be asking yourself, hey, Jeff, why did you include a two and a half year old girl in your story about Fountain Square? Well, the square is supposed to have family friendly entertainment so parents can bring kids like Harper. There will be concerts and other events at the square from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Friday through All-Star Tuesday. And Saturday night's festivities will continue as planned, minus the one hour previously allotted to the rapper Cal Scrooby. Back to you. So what's going to happen after the All-Star game is gone? Is Fountain Square just going to be quiet from now on, or will there be activity? No, no, there will be activities. It's just that the city, according to the city manager, is going to review the way 3CDC was able to pretty much book what they wanted or hire other people to book what they wanted without going through the city police department and the permit process, the building department. This way, uh, 3CDC will have to presumably submit all these things to the city. The police can review it and maybe say, look, you shouldn't have this act here at all. Or if you do, you should move it to a different time so that maybe when 40,000 people are getting out of a concert, uh, you know, the concert, the live concert at uh, Paul Brown Stadium on All-Star Sunday, you don't have a rap concert and all these crowds collidingly. Yeah, makes sense. Jeff, thanks very much. Tourism leaders also cite Cincinnati's success in holding major national and international events, for that matter, such as the World Choir Games in 2012. The National NAACP Convention is also booked here for next year.